Hi everyone, this is Miss Windsor and this is the intro to our math applications class. Um, I am recording this intro and going over the class, but Miss Garcia is going to be your instructor for this class. Hello. All right, so we are excited to help you through this um, basic math uh, class and we call it math applications because um, the textbook that we're going to be using is Math Basics for the Healthcare Professional. It does have 15 units, but I think there's one or two that we're not going to be uh, doing. Uh, unit 14 is on IV uh, dosages and cal calculations, and that's not in our scope, and so we're not going to be learning those things. Um, but we will uh, complete the majority of this text and for the most part it's basic basic math functions. There are conversions as well as dosage calculations that we'll get into as we move through the text. So math basics for the healthcare professional by um, Les Meister is our textbook. And so here we are on the landing page. And so we're just gonna kind of move through this class. Uh, I am where the announcements tab is. <clears throat> and you just wanna make sure that you check your announcements every day. I know you guys are really good about doing that and I appreciate it. But we'll post things here, um, you know, as, as they come up. So this is always a good place to check if you have any questions. Go ahead and check your announcements first. The next tab is the course syllabus tab, and I have not added in the actual course syllabus. I will do that. But this is where you can access and print out the lesson plan. Now, the lesson plan is uh, copied into the Blackboard course content. So they mirror each other, but I always like to print out my lesson plan and have that so I can use it as my checklist and my look forward. So like what's coming up tomorrow, what's coming up next week, so on and so forth. So it's here for you uh, to print out if you would like to do that. Oh, the next tab is the course content and that's where all the meat and potatoes are for the course. Uh, at the very top here, um, one second, I'm just gonna put this into student mode. Um, so back to course content. Um, so this is what you'll see if you're looking at the course. At the very top is your Zoom link for the class. And uh, so all you have to do is just click on this image. It's going to take you right to the Zoom link. Now there will be a project for this class. And uh, I'm calling it your midterm project. So there is a document that uh, you can click on and it gives you three options. I'm just going to open that up really quickly. Um, <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. There's options one, two, and three. Choose one of them and complete everything for that option. And these all have different math applications. So you can read through here and there's some links hopefully that will help you out. Um, pick one that resonates with you and that is what uh, is gonna be uh, considered your midterm. So there won't be a test. It will actually be a project, and this will help us to uh, determine if we can apply those concepts that we're learning. All right, um, so there uh, is a, um, a rubric associated with this. Um, it's going to be due on August 24th, and um, it's worth 100 points. And um, so anyways, it's, this is uh, here uh, for you with the details. Um, actually, it doesn't look like the rubric is showing up, and maybe I forgot to click a button, so I'll go back and do that. Uh, on the first day, it's that last hour, like we talked about. You'll have your anatomy and physiology exam, and then the last hour is going to be technically devoted to math. There uh, will be this recording. We're going to make it into an Ed Puzzle. So as long as you complete that at some point on uh, August 11th, that will be fantastic. Um, and then you can just click in here and it'll be in there for you. 
Uh, and then the rest of the days are going to kind of have a similar flow. Each day you'll have an Ed puzzle on a unit or two. And you'll have from 8 a.m. to 9.30 to go ahead and complete that Ed puzzle. And then you're going to be Zooming with Miss Garcia at 9.30. Um, to start out, we'll do some breakout sessions and you'll work in groups to complete the pretest that is associated with the unit that we'll be going over for that day. And then we will do a bunch of practice problems. All right. And then with whatever time is left over, if you're feeling comfy with the concept, you can go ahead and leave the Zoom. And, uh, you know, there's these take home tests that we'll be doing, which we'll look at here in a second. Um, <clears throat> but if you feel comfortable with the content, you can jump off. If you need a little bit more support or guidance, then you can go ahead and stay on and we'll be there to support you uh, in that. So if we click into the content, um, you'll see uh, that there is a place for you to upload your pretest from your breakout session. So after class is over, please remember to upload that. Just scan it and upload it for us and make sure that it is legible. That would be fantastic. And then there's the PowerPoint is also here for you as well as, you know, some, some reasons why we even use math, right? Um, what is not here and will not show up until the day that it needs to be done is your ed puzzle. So every day mm -hmm. that you have an ed puzzle, it will show up at 12:30 a.m. and the link will be there for you. So don't get nervous if you don't see the ed puzzles as you're looking through here. Uh, the reason why they open up on the day you need to do them is for attendance purposes, okay? All right, so I am going to go back to course content. Um, and then uh, if we look at day three, uh, there is one threaded discussion for this class. And the topic that you will be discussing is how math concepts um, are related to the field of surgical technology. Um, so some things that um, you should consider is um, using reliable sources that support your, and support your information with research. Remember, you want to apply APA format and uh, you will be required to respond to two peers and uh, that will actually be at uh, by 8 a.m. start of class. So I apologize, I changed the date, but I didn't change the time. So I will circle back and change that so that it will be correct for us. And then your homework is going to consist of these take home quizzes. All right. And there's the take home quiz is attached. Um, and you'll find these in the days that they are due. So don't forget to look ahead to see when these unit tests are due. The thought is, is that we will cover the content and then it will be due the following um, day or something like that. So unit one take home quiz is due on the 17th. And all you need to do is click on this document here and uh, this is what it looks like. Um, so you will um, complete these. You can type them up, which would be really fantastic. So that it would be easier for us to see and grade, uh, read and grade as we're going through here. You can also print them out do your work uh, with a pencil, please. Uh, please do not use a pen where you're scratching out wrong answers or things that you didn't mean to write. Uh, please use a pencil to do all of your math. And when you erase, make sure you erase completely. Um, so each of them are 25 questions and you'll have one of these for each unit that we do. Okay, um, and then you will scan this or if you completed this uh, by typing it up, uh, you'll just save it and upload it. Uh, one other thing that uh, you will be required to do is show your work. We want to see how you got to this answer. 
all right, that you're putting here. So if you do 139, uh, I'm looking at number three here, times 13, and you just type it into your calculator and you put the answer, you're not gonna get full credit for that. We need to see you working out the multiplication problem. Now feel free to use your calculator to check to make sure that you got the right answer, but we wanna see that you can do the work and work out the, pro the problem. So make sure you show that work for us, okay? Um, and then again, there are some supporting resources um, in each daily content according to the unit or the concepts that we will be uh, going over that day. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, like I said, the rest of these days are going to look very similar. Um, the unit or content material is really the only thing that's going to change. On day six, we do have an uh, asynchronous learning activity for our midterm review, and that will show up on the day of the asynchronous review. So there will not be a Zoom that day on 824. And then we're back to business as usual on 825, which is day seven. And we'll continue doing the same things that we had been doing where we do Ed Puzzle first thing and then we meet at 930 for a Zoom. And uh, then uh, the on the very last day, of course, that will, there will be that end of course survey and we really appreciate the feedback that you provide us via those surveys. But just to reiterate, please come to us and let us know if there's something that we can do to support you better. We are very open to feedback and if we can make an accommodation, we will. And if we can't, then we'll let you know that and let you know why. Um, so then you'll have a final exam on that day. And then if you are open to completing test corrections, then you would need to get those to us, <clears throat> excuse me, by five o'clock that evening. Now, uh, how about the resources tab? So let's look at the resources tab. There is a ton of stuff that we've put in here for you um, and a lot of examples of real world applications and how we can use this as search text. So this might be a good place to go to get some fodder for your threaded discussion about how do we use math um, <clears throat> as a surgical tech. There are also, uh, right at the top here, you see this show me tutorials. And so there's this amazing uh, online application that I found called show me. And uh, so these are from past classes and you are free to dig around in here. But I clicked on one uh, just to show you what this looks like. So. There are some problems that, that were identified the last time that we taught this class, and so I've made some show me tutorials, and uh, you can see that this one's over unit two practice test. And so <clears throat> if you're struggling with some of these problems, this might be a good place to go and a good resource for you. Um, it's just a little video, so if you click play, uh, it'll go ahead and play, and it'll walk you through the steps of the problems. Okay, so Show Me is really awesome. I highly suggest that. Uh, a bunch of resources in here. Math Antics is super, super awesome. And um, <clears throat> if you uh, go there, there's a, a lot of math uh, videos, tutorials. Khan Academy is another fantastic resource for you that if you're struggling with certain concepts, Khan Academy is super awesome. It has tutorials to guide you through a bunch of different math applications. And then there's the conversion table that I put here as well. Another suggestion that I have in the tools area is to use your calendar. So, uh, when you come to your calendar, there's, um, depending on what classes you're enrolled in, they will be here and you can check and uncheck as you uh, find necessary. Um, so here's all of the assignments for math. And if you are ready to um, 
submit something for math, you can actually do it from here. And you can just click on this um, thing here and go to this assignment and it'll take you right to where you need to be to submit your assignment. So I thought that was really handy. Um, so my other suggestion might be to print this calendar out uh, and then you just have a one pager of when your assignments are due, which I thought would be really handy. Now, uh, Miss Garcia, as I uh, let you know, is going to be your instructor and I actually, I don't see her information showing up here. So um, I think there's another little button we gotta check in the background. So under the instructor tab is where you're going to find her email and uh, all of her pertinent information. So if you have questions about this course, please, uh, we will be tag teaming on this course, but she is going to be your first to go to for that. And then um, again, there's the help desk, there's the library, and then there's also uh, a tab for you to access your email. So I think that pretty much brings us uh, to the conclusion of this introduction to math applications. And I hope you found it helpful and we look forward to seeing you in class. Thanks for listening and take care.